this time, let us pray. Eternal God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come today. We thank you, Father God, for life blessing. So, Heavenly Father, we come today with a special thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this, my grandmother and my grandfather, yes. who have celebrated 50 years yes. of holy matrimony. Well, Lord God, you told us for this cause, man shall leave his mother and his father and cleave unto a wife. Now, Lord, they have done this. And today we assemble ourselves on a most special occasion of renewing of their vow. Lord God, love that has overseen the faults through the many years and has clinged together. The type of love, Father, that you have for us, we're grateful, Lord. We glorify you today and we magnify your holy and your righteous name. We pray your blessings upon this beautiful couple, upon the assembly of the well wishes today, who has come to observe and to witness a renewing occasion. Father God, bless in the name of Jesus. And in all things, we always be grateful unto you. We would forever lift up our voice in praise. We ask it all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
I'd like to dedicate a song that I've been drawing for quite a while to, to the newlyweds. The song is entitled, Since God is for us, who can be against you? And truly, God has been with them. Amen.
celebration. Today we are celebrating a wonderful occasion. We are celebrating the reclamation of your vows and the joy of spending 50 years together. But this occasion also has given me the opportunity to express my love and gratitude to you. We are part of a wonderful, close-knit family, and I continually thank God for that. But I also thank God for the two of you. I want to thank you for the warm, loving home that you allow me to share and for the Christian influence that you provided in my life. I also would like to thank you for the many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that I gave so <laughs> To you, Mother Louise, my one who gave us as we grew. You were always there for us. You were always consistent in your actions and reactions. Always a perfect lady. We also consider you the monarch of our family. You are the glue that holds us together. The pattern that we follow in our daily lives and the strength that we draw from in our times of need. Most of us could not have made it without that being constant in our lives. And some of us cannot imagine surviving even now without it. And you, Uncle George, even though Mother Louise was always there for us on a day to day basis, we knew that she would eventually be there. Our uncle, our father, our provider, and our protector. I think of you as the proud, fierce warrior who protects his family at all costs. We were always certain that there was nothing that you could not accomplish and no one could protect us and no one could protect us from anything, especially the monsters that hid in the house late at night. I hope that you realize the importance your presence played in my life. You raised me as one of your own children, and I can never repay you for that and all that you've done. The influence that you've had in my life has caused me to strive to be a decent woman. I owe a great part of what I am to you. If you look around at, all, at the other lives that you have touched and influenced, you should never doubt that. You have been tremendously successful. From all of us, happy 50th anniversary, and we love you.
would like to do, if you have something to say to mom and daddy, you may say it at this time. And so now, I know we all love her. She's my neighbor, she's my friend, and I just don't know what I do with that girl. She can depend on me, and I can depend on her. But I'm sure we all are like. We all love her, but so often times when we get up, our thoughts sit down. But she know we love her. This, too, was also taken more than 50 years ago. <laughs> okay, this is Mr. and Mrs. George Brown back in the fourth. <laughs> 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 love taken as a strawberry chestnut. <laughs> and a tender caress and more than bright hours of gay hours. <laughs> For elastic love is made up of sharing, both hours that are joyous and also despairing. It's made up of patience and deep understanding, and never of selfish and stubborn demanding. It's made up of climbing the steep hills together and facing with courage like stormiest weather. And nothing on earth or in heaven can part a love that has grown part of the heart. And just like the sun and the stars and the sea, this love will go on through eternity. But true love lives on when earthly things die. For this is part of the spirit that soars to the sky. Give praise to God. 
around the middle of my life, both to my strength, to the Reverend Snell and his accents, to my first cousin, Reverend Irvin, to the family members and friends that are simple here to get to that, and to the special to, to the honorees. I want to say, you know, it's been 50 long years we've been together, but it stays in Ephesians that a man who loveth his wife loveth himself. And in Hebrews it says that marriage is honorable in all. And you've had honor throughout. Even today we're showing you honor. And I just want you to know that he was there all the while. He was there all the while. When you had disagreements and, and times was hard, he was waiting patiently. He was there.
Dearly beloved, we are assembled here in the presence of God and these friends to witness the renewal of the solemn vows of this couple, Daddy George Brown and Mother Louise Brown, who made, when as bride and groom, they were joined in holy marriage. May they remember with the vividness of this hour the words of the minister who said that holy matrimony is an honorable estate, instituted of God, blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ, and declared by Paul the apostle to be honorable among all men. May we all remember that God has established and sanctified marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. That only through holy wedlock are we to people the earth and so establish the family as the foundation of human friendship. It is for this reason that our Lord and Savior has declared that a man shall forsake his father and mother and cleave unto his wife. It is for this reason that the church declares to whom God has joined together, let not man put asunder. On such a solemn occasion as this, made more so by our marital experiences of weal and woe, of difficulty and conflict, of unexpected changes of circumstances, and of the waxing and warning of the order of love and affection, it is fitting that we seek the divine blessing upon this couple. Let us pray. Oh, gracious God, the Father of all mercies and God of grace, we thank thee for the enrichment and enlargement of life which thou and thy goodness has bestowed upon this couple. We pray that thou wouldst help them now to renew their vows to each other in thy strength and in thy fear. And thy love, Father God, that conquers a whole multitude of sins. We beseech you, Father, in the name of Jesus, to grant your greatest blessings upon them. For it's in his holy name that we do our good prayer. Amen. God has will that the spiritual bond formed between the two of you in holy matrimony be strong, strong and lasting, enough to see you through the conflict of ideas, deep disagreements, foolish sentences, long or frequent illnesses with their accompanying high costs, worry of unemployment, underemployment, or un unemployability itself. It is God's will that this union be strong enough to see you through the worries and responsibilities of parenthood. And indeed, over these past 50 years, all of this has held true. Now, in order to renew your marriage vow, I call upon you in the presence of this assembly to repeat or to answer upon me. 
together. Do you solemnly promise, insofar as you can, to continue to keep the vow and covenant between you made at your wedding? Do you promise insofar as you can to continue to cultivate love for each other by sympathy, understanding, truthfulness, patience, forbearance, mutual consideration, and thoughtfulness? Do you promise insofar as you can to create a Christian environment in your home and to encourage each other in godly living and Christian service. In token of the pledge you have made to each other and to God in the presence of this assembly, please join your right hands now. And let us pray. God our Father, again we stand before your holy presence in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you now for what our ears have heard today and what our eyes have seen as a witness of the love that has been shared throughout these past 50 years and the love that the two have vowed to continue as long as you grant them life. Bless them, Father. Bless their home. Bless their children here as well as abroad. And oh, Father God, we, we ask of you today to bless each and every one that's come to be a witness. May they see, Lord God, the true love that has been typified in the life of Daddy George and Mother Louise, throughout these years of their lives. And may they take upon them, Father God, as an example of this love, to commit unto themselves, to be strong, to be courageous, to be a loving man, unto the one that you have joined them. And Father God, for the children that have come today, May they know that love is what love does. Most of all, love has been typified in the life of Jesus. And you've given him unto us that we might have love. Sinners who were not worthy even to breathe. Not worthy, Father God, even to die. But you have so commanded your love for us that you gave us your son. Now, Father God, we say thank you. For you told us in your holy word that if we would believe in our prayer, that we would grant unto you, that you would incline your ear, truly you would hear our prayers, and you will answer our prayers. So thank you, Father. Thank you for the love that they shall walk in their tears <coughs> in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and now, as the Lord has so granted it over the years, present to you in love and in fellowship these two have, who have committed themselves once again unto each other. The bride and the groom. And George and Mother Louise. <laughs> <laughs>
is God.
Where's the bar? Brandon, look. <laughs> look here. Look. Look. Where's the bar? Okay.
Hey boy, who you with? Huh? Come back here. Come back here. Brandon? <laughs>